Happy birthday, my husband. <laughs> Happy birthday. I am so excited. My beautiful wives and uh, princesses. So today is my birthday. Yes, eh? <laughs> Now I want to ask a question. Am I too old to even remember the day of my birth? <laughs> Daddy, you're 60 years old. Yes. And at this age, you don't expect your brain to remember everything. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Plus, you have the kingdom to worry about. <laughs> yes, exactly. You are all right. But today is not for that. Today is a special day to a special man in my life. No, in my life! life. <laughs> Well, my darling husband, <laughs> why don't you get up, freshen up, mm -hmm. because it is a memorable day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Then what am I waiting for? I am strong. Come on, let me get up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, I am so excited. Thank you. Oh. Come on. Oh. Mm. You are welcome. Once again, my to my special man. you all because I have an announcement to make. Yesterday was my 60th birthday. Implication is that I am no longer getting younger. Consequently, I I want to have another wife who will take care of me at this last stage. Dad, mm -hmm. what for? Why another wife? Oh. You will. Did I hear you right? Another wife? So I am no longer good enough for you? No, wait. Hey, people, speak for yourself. Whoever that is, let her know that she will pass through me to get into your bedroom. Let's go. So, Ibe, this is the reason you have refused to review the law? Huh? All along, you know the intention of getting another wife who will give you a successor. I am disappointed, Igwe.
everything will be okay. Just put your trust in God. Put your hope in Him. And He will see you through. cannot just wake up one morning and impose a woman on us. It's not possible. I cannot let it happen. No! Ah. What are you going to do, Mom? What am I going to do? Yes, Mom. You think this is all about me? No! It is about you too. What if the woman eventually gives birth to a male child? That means your stay in this palace becomes inconsequential. So the question should have been, what are you going to do about it if it happens? Mom, what do we do? You have the final say. Saw this coming, which is why I have been pushing for a change. God. But, Mom, you don't need change to take in and give Daddy a male child. Mm. Mm. Taking in for the king without reviewing the law of the land would be useless. Since my first child is not a male child. Giving birth to a male child now is immaterial because only the first male seed of a woman can succeed your father. That is preposterous. Hmm. Hmm. What? You are speaking grammar. Yes. The reality we can face now is to do something and very quickly. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, my princess. What is it? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. A young man by name Charles is here to see Princess Rebecca. <sighs> Where is he? At the waiting room. Okay. Take him to the visitor's sitting room. Serve him drinks and tell him I'll be with him soon, okay? Yes, my princess. My king, I hope all is well. I had to buy call the meeting I had with my staff when I got your message. You are the traditional Prime Minister of Amalfi Kingdom. Yes. Is it wrong to have a third wife? Um, my king, traditionally I would say no. I mean, the king is entitled to marry as many wives as his strength and resources can carry. Then why is it that my wives and children are seeing it as a sacrifice? Ah, my king, you're supposed to know that the people you are talking about are women. Yes, they are jealous and threatened. Mm. They thought of playing a second fiddle to the woman you tend to marry. He's hunting them. It is not easy. But that is not true. Because everything done in this palace is done in a chronological order. Nobody takes another one's position. Your Majesty, you are the king. Do whatever pleases you. If having another wife will gladden your heart, I'm with you all the way. Yes. 
You are the ego of this great kingdom. Thank you very much, Chief Fonsi. Thank you for the advice. I need to run along now. I want to go to the office. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. <coughs> Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. What do you do? Well, I... I am an investment banker. I head a branch of uh, Dominion Bank PLC. Wow. You have built quite a reputation for yourself. Thank you once again, Your Majesty. I am very, very honored. So, tell me about your genealogy. here today to see the Queen Mother. So? He came to ask for Rebecca's hand in marriage. Oh, oh. Good riddance. It's too bad, bad rubbish. <laughs> Your Majesty, it's not a laughing matter. The Queen Mother was beginning to like him until she asked him of his genealogy. <laughs> You may go. Thank you, my sister. Mom, what does she mean by genealogy? It simply means that Margaret is looking for a man whose patrilineal and matrilineal parents are linked to Amoku Kingdom up to the fourth generation to marry her daughter. If they like, they didn't trace his genealogy to King Solomon. It doesn't concern us. Really? Yes, mother. It will concern you when she succeeds. And your father wills everything to Rebecca and the total stranger. No way. It's not going to be possible. I, I, I cannot leave Charles. I cannot. I love him. I can't. You are obviously blinded by lust, Rebecca. You are! We are on the verge of losing everything. And here you are, talking about love. What nonsense love? Your father is about to take another wife. Henrietta and her children are planning days. Your question should be, where do we belong in this grand scheme of things? Where do we belong? You now want me to sacrifice my love and happiness? No way. Rebecca, I am not going to do it. Rebecca! Rebecca! Come back here! Come back here! Oh. You look troubled, my king. What is eating you up? Chief Jose, how can I be known? I can't remember the last time I felt like a man. A real man. But my king, the queens are there for you. Forgive me. Your last statement was more or less paradoxical. Chief Desir, I guess the rich also cry. Actually. My wives have abdicated their conjugal responsibilities. The cupidity in my wives 
is unimaginable. Lusting after wealth. Chasing shadows at my detriment. They no longer grace my bed. That is serious. Please. I need your assistance. Whatever it may be, my king. Count on me. The moon never visits the sun. Whenever that happens, there's bound to be an eclipse. Whatever brought my queen to my house must be very serious. What is it? You are right about the eclipse. Amoku Kingdom is about to be eclipsed into darkness. The one that will haunt us for the rest of our lives. If something cogent is not done to quell the rising tide. Mm. You are speaking in parables, my queen. What is the problem? <clears throat> you are the traditional prime minister. Yes. I want you to reveal the law of the land. The, revealing the law of the land. The law has not offended anyone. It has. It has offended me and my children. And we can no longer tolerate such crude tradition. Oh no. I want you to help me. Your Majesty, the power to instigate such a change rests on your husband. The king, talk to him. The king has lost touch with reality. He is adamant and will not be swayed. You know, I'm the only ruler of the kingdom. I cannot go beyond that. I'm really very sorry I cannot do anything. If the king refused to be swayed, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm really very sorry. I cannot do anything. Thanks for the drink. I know I offended you in the past. I have come to make up. Is that supposed to make me happy? No, I asked you. Is that supposed to make me happy? You came to make up. After so many years. After helping you to gain your way into the king's heart. What do I get in return? What? I would feel the same way if I were in your shoes. I, I'm sorry. Let us forget the past and start afresh. 
please. I beg you. I was told by my handlers that you're well grounded here. Yes. I want a man. A young man whose maternal and paternal families are of Amoku extract. It will run through four generations. This time around, I will handsomely reward you. And you will not betray me? Not anymore. Okay. I will be needing more than money this time. What do you need? The royal parcel of land at the market junction. Adora. Ah. The king has his eyes on that parcel of land. Please. Just ask for any other thing. It is either the land or no deal. <clears throat> okay. I will try and secure it. But please, let it be between us. Okay? Of course. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you soon. And you will. I'll take my leave. Let's go. I cannot believe that mom will even contemplate asking me to leave Charles. It sickens me that mom could condescend that low. What kind of a mother does that? Oh, I... <sighs> Joma, please. What do I do? Advise me because I know mom very well. She will not stop breathing down my neck. I know her. What do you think I should do? Sis, I think at this point, we need to be very, very careful in whatever decisions we take. I know, I know. Because my Bible tells me in the book of... Uh, uh, please, 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 please. What is that? Must you rope the Bible into everything we say? I just asked for a simple advice. Simple advice and you're dragging the Bible into it. What is wrong with you? Eventually, drag with the gas into it. Yes. yes. A choice between the devil and the hypocrisy. And when that eventually happens, I pray we're on the same side because I don't want to lose our friendship. I also pray to don't get to that. No. 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 It's okay. Um, just. Go back to your duty post. Honestly, Chisaba, the king does not deserve what he's going through. He is such a generous man. Yes. He took me in when I was a teenager. When I lost my parents, he sent me to secondary school and after that, he sent me to Ketron school. He saw me through. He paid for everything from beginning to the end. I wonder 
where I would have been, what my life would have become without the king. I am nothing without the king. I practically owe him everything. That's why it breaks my heart each time I see him like this. It hurts me. John, I think he's under intense pressure from the both wives. The pressure that seeks to end his life. Shh. Don't say that, Chisaba. Nothing will happen to the king because he's the reason we are here. All we need to do is to pray and care for him and everything will be fine. Yes. You're right. We will do just that. Yes, we have to. And Chizuba, remember I told you I'll be going to see my mother first thing in the morning. Okay, fine. But please, don't take time. I don't want them to notice your absence here, please. Okay, I won't take time, I promise. Your Majesty. Yes. These documents contains the financial statements of Aku Global Enterprises. For the past six months, all our dealings and transactions are contained in it. Your Majesty, this is the document as you requested. I will understand it at my leisure time. Fred! Fred! Your Highness. You keep it in my story. For Your Highness. So I thank you very much. I hope I thank you so much. And you have done a very good work. My king, you sent for me. Prepare breakfast and make sure you accommodate Mr. Jonathan. Okay, my king. So, you are welcome to us now. Take your hand. Like I said, I have to understand. Then add pineapple juice to it. What about you, Princess Thelma? Well, uh, we have our macaroni with grilled chicken and a juice extract from fresh apple. No mistakes, please. Okay, my princess. Have you seen the latest design? Or what? Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. I want for myself. No, I want this too. And whose other is that? Princess Lydia and Princess Thelma, and they will have it almost immediately. Why? Why would they order something different? That is not customary in this palace. They have always eaten together. So why the change? Anyways, that order will have to wait. As you can see, I am making food for the king and the guest. Please, just try and make it quick. Okay, drop it there. I will try.
Lydia and Tema. Come and join us. No thanks. Why? We will eat when we are hungry. Mm. Your Highness. Yes. Are they okay? Probably they are not ready to eat now. No, my princess, I did not ignore you both, but the king's order came first and Shut I... up! By the king's order, you mean Rebecca and Choma? So they now come first in this palace, right? It's not like that, my princess. I was only trying to make the food. Shut up! By the time we are through with you, you will know how it is. You, you, you have to... You have to... Sorry for interruption, Your Highness. Yes, go on. Is Chizoba? Chizoba. <coughs> yes, what happened to Chizoba? I heard her crying from Kuhereta's quarters. I don't know what she did to Princess Lydia and Thelma. justification to say that. You don't have it. Listen to me. If you ever touch her again, you will get my wrath. Nonsense. <laughs> Help her bring her to my quarters. Yes, my king. Rubbish! <laughs> Where have I gone wrong? Huh? Is it wrong to give birth to, to girls? Look at what they did to her. Your Highness, take it easy. They are children. Don't allow this to get to you. You call those old fools children? They are graduates who refuse to take up any job in my company. All they do is wake up, eat and have strength to cause havoc. In my palace. Your Highness, please take it easy. Don't allow this to get you. She's over. It's okay. Stop crying, okay? She's over. You take a day off and take care of yourself. Thank you, my king. Chief Omenka, is it true that laws are made for the people and not people for the law? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay. Is it also true that laws are made to redress? If it is no longer in the best interest of the people, it was designed to govern? That's also true, Your Majesty. If all this is true, then why haven't we changed our laws to befit our 21st century realities? Honestly, uh, Your Majesty, I've asked myself the same question over and over again. It then put both of us on the same pedestal. Yes, Your Majesty, but only the king has the powers. 
What is the job of the College of Elders? Your Majesty, you need the College of Elders to mount pressure on the King. Mm -hmm. Then we have to buy them over. Do you think they can be bought over? Your Majesty, every man has a price. A gun or bala, I look all warm. Money and man is inseparable. Then do whatever you have to do. And I will see to it and get you all the funding. It's okay, Your Majesty. I have to be on my way now. Young man, how long have you known Major? Four years now, Your Highness. I was actually a penultimate uh, master's degree student and she was running off her bachelor's degree when we met. Do you love her? With my whole heart, Your Highness. I do. I will have to talk with my wife and uh, get back to you through the All right. Thank you very much, Your Highness. You're welcome. I promise I won't let you nor Her Majesty down. I promise you. I'll be glad to hear that. My daughter told me what you did today. You wanted them to starve while you fed Margaret's children. How much did she pay you? Your Majesty, nobody paid me anything. Really? So you did it out of your own volition? Out of spite, right? No, Your Majesty. Listen, let this be the very last time my children will play second fiddle in this palace. Any other time it happens, I will personally disgrace you out of this palace. Do I make myself clear? Yes, my question. Now get lost. Oh, fly away. It's your job to shoot us now. Or speak for nothing. The young man. Is he the one you intend to spend the rest of your life with? Yes, Daddy. Are you very sure? Yes, I, I know why I asked. Because marriage is a lifetime decision. I know. Good. And I love him. I love him so much. I love Charles so much, Daddy. Mm. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> Wait. Does that mean you approve of us? As long as he is the right man for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank That's you. Right, Thank you so That's much, okay. Daddy. That's Thank right. you. Like that. <laughs> You're the best daddy in the whole world. Oh my god. How come you did not mention him to me? My husband. I... I didn't know that the boy is serious. That boy is serious. I spoke with Rebecca and she seemed to be excited. This is the kind of news I want to always hear in this kingdom that will make me happy. Huh? My daughter is getting married. And there is no other way to explain this. You don't know how I feel right now. Iwe, Iwe, this is not right at all. It's not right. My children are being stabbed here by that idiot in the kitchen. And you're not saying or doing anything about it. I expected you to punish her. But rather, you gave her a day off. Which shows you're, you're, you're supporting her. Herietta, are you insane? My goodness. Herietta, are you mad? In Apuala! What 
has gone wrong with you? How dare you bash into my, my throne room to blab? Who are you? This next time, I will tell you the kind of king I am made of and why people call me the lion of Amaoku kingdom. Rubbish! You and your evil daughters have no right to touch Chizoba because didn't he brought her here to slave for you. Evil, rubbish. Did you hear that? Yes, I heard that. Get out of here. You heard it? Mm. Okay. No problem. You and your children are evil. You are wicked and you deserve to die. Listen. Chizoba was employed to this palace to see to my needs and those of my children. If she is tired of walking here, let her quit. And let this be the very last time you will insult me here. Whoa. How dare you? How dare you stand before me to disrespect me? Are you drunk? I was here long before you came. You ought to know who your mother is. Stupid. Look at you, mom. Mom. Are you going to swallow this? Will you shut up? You shut up! Margaret, you want to play dead? Let's go there. Yes! Yes! What? Yes! What? 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 I thought you were sensitive enough to understand what is going on here. But I was wrong after all. Romy, what did I do? You brought in that boy to see your father. You went as far as telling your father that you love him. Girls, because it's the truth. And daddy is happy for me. Of course he is. He is happy that you are about to be disposed of your inheritance out of sheer stupidity. Everything I am working on right now is for your own good. But if you are bent on marrying that boy, then you will cease to be my daughter. Try me. Try me. Chizoba, I am very sorry for what you went through yesterday. However, I would advise you don't take too hard the ill treatment meted out to you. Be like a fruitful tree. That when people throw stones at you, you throw back fruit at them. Discharge your duties diligently, and our good Lord, who sees beyond darkness, will reward you. Hmm? Thank you so much, my person. Your words and your greeting. I truly appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay? You can go back to your duty. Once more, I'm sorry. I was told you wanted to see me. Yes. Tell me. I know things have not been really going fine in the palace. But I want to plead. I will take things easy with our domestic staff. Put them at home. Thank you. They are human beings like us. Please.
Prince, are you talking to me? Yes, of course. Are you serious? How? If not that I'm in a good mood today, I could slap you right away. Take a good look at me. As in, look at me very well. Do I look like one of your idiotic church members? Stay away from me. I won't want you again. Stay away from me. What do you really want with my daughter? Good day, Your Majesty. Is this love? Or you are lost in after her father's wealth? Your Majesty, I love her so much. From the depth of my heart, I do. I don't care. You are no good match for my daughter. And I want you to stay clear. Your Majesty, but, but the king... It doesn't matter. It does not matter what the king said to you. I have spoken. Fred! Fred! Show this young man out of here. And make sure he doesn't step his feet into this palace again. Out! My queen, I came to let you know that after a rigorous search, I have finally found a man as you requested. Wow, that's great news. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's so wonderful. You're welcome. Oh. And then, my queen, there is um, something I want you to know about him. It doesn't matter. Really? It does not matter at all. Good. <laughs> Lydia! <laughs> Lydia! Yes, mommy. You know Adora, don't you? Yes, I do. Good day, ma. How are you? Fine, ma. Good. She has found you a man. Yes. <gasps> That's so sweet of you. Where is he? He's right here in the kingdom. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. You go and change. She will take you to him. Okay, right away, mom. Thank you so much. You're really a good friend. We are here. Yeah. Hey, my princess. Yeah. Is this his house? Exactly. Yes. Oh, get it, oh, get it. So, what is it? Oh, get it. <laughs> oh, get it. Oh, get it. Uh -uh. Which voice am I hearing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, get it. How are you? Sister Adora. Eh? You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Eh, my princess, this is the man I told you about. Ogene. Mokike. Is this an insult or what? Eh? What sort of rubbish is this? Yeah. My princess. No. Not like that. This is not an insult though. Don't underrate him. 
This is a real man, ain't it, Nipania? A real man? Seriously? Yes. You want me to marry this thing? You have to be joking. This has got to be a nightmare. I, my princess. Let's get out of here. My princess. Will you shut up or I make you disappear, you fool? Rubbish. My princess. My princess. appearance does not matter. It is immaterial. You are so unbelievable, mom. You will stop at nothing to get what you want, irrespective of whose earth is God. You know what? I will just go to my room and take a nap. I will wake up in three hours from this nightmare because this is far from reality. Excuse me. Menka, you have to understand that certain things are not meant to change. That is not true, Chief Paulson. Everything is subject to change. We change our looks. We change our clothes when they are dirty and worn out. And who is talking about clothes here? You need to grow. Huh? We are talking about the oral laws handed down to us by our ancestors. The modification you seek it's a Herculean task, and you know it. Uh, Chief Paulson, I still disagree with you. These laws we are talking about have become obsolete and no longer sync with modern day's reality. I, Can't you see that? I can see, Omeka, that you have lost your mind. Yes! Look, don't bring the wrath of the gods upon us in this land. Why not allow the gods to fight for themselves? Oh, yes. This argument is not necessary at all. Only the gods have the power to change the course of things. Oh. And until the gods give us that mandate, status quo must be maintained. Yes, it must be maintained. I do not wish to see you dive into a matter when we have very serious matter to discuss. Please. How did it go? Your Majesty, not so good. The king is adamant about it. He considers it as issue, not worthy the rating of. So, what do we do next? Um, there is only one man in the king listens to. Okay. If we will be able to get him on our side. He will influence the king. Who is he? The chief priest, your majesty. Are you sure this is going to work? Yes, your majesty. It will work. I wonder what she was discussing with Chief Omenka. Um, uh, Your Majesty, I don't think it is wise to concern yourself with that. Eh? It yes. is wise. It is my business. 
It is my business what she discusses with anyone in this palace. A woman that goes around conniving with elders is of no good. But I tell you something. Whatever it is, I will match her toe to toe. She spoke to you, right? Yes, uh, she, she did. What about? Your Majesty, we do respect her. I don't think I can disclose what we discussed. Whatever it is that we have discussed is entirely... In what? No! Go ahead and tell her everything. So, this is what you do, Chief Porter. After talking to you in confidence, you will come here to reveal it to her? Huh? I beg your pardon, Margaret. Don't beg my pardon because you won't get it. What is your problem, Margaret? You want to know? You are my problem. Henrietta, you are my problem. Really? Why can't you stop nosing about in this palace? What is it with you? So what are you going to do about it? I will so deal with you. <laughs> I will so deal with you, Henrietta. Deal with who? Me? Stop this. How do you intend to do that? Mm -hmm. You think it is by size? Ah. Yes. Okay, not by size. What can you do? My friend, don't try it. Stop this. Henrietta, don't try it. Henrietta! I will give it to you in this palace. There's nothing you can do. You are taking more than you can do. You give it this palace. You cannot do anything. Henrietta, you cannot do anything. Hey. Is it because I'm giving hey. you this? What's that nonsense? But try it! Where I will stand up for you! No, 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 just try it! You will see anywhere to hide yourself! Is it there? You, raise your hand! You! You! You will see what I'm good to you! You and me! Hey! Think I'm playing with you! Never! Will you shut up? Do I need to stop? Shut up! You are taking more! Will you shut up? Yes, you cannot! 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 You That woman is beginning to bite more than she can chew. I mean, she has no right. No right whatsoever to challenge mom in this palace. I mean, who is she? I knew when she was married into this palace, so she, she, she should just shut up and respect her elders. Hmm. If it is fight they want, trust me, I will give them an overdose of it. This is fight? No. That's been childish. Really? Yes. So what do you propose we do? Look, Big Sis, these things happening in the palace is not ordinary. Can't you see that the devil is at work here? All we need to do right now is to step up, fast and pray. We need to seek the face of the Lord. What you need to do is to shut up, get some sense, and stop fooling around. Gosh, where are you from? Listen, even that Bible that you claim to know so much, that Bible that you carry around the whole place supports violence. Or is it not written in the Bible that the kingdom of God suffereth violence and only the violent take it by force? Is it not in your Bible? I know, but it's figurative. <laughs> Please. Figurative or literal? I will not hesitate to deal with Henrietta and those her mannerless daughters any day they decide to step on my toes. Sis, the Bible Just says follow quiet. peace with all men. For without peace, no man shall see the Lord. Igwe, is this a joke? I don't have water in my mouth. Igwe! That's a lie! It is not possible! She? No! No! I can't take this! What is it? Yeah? Leave. Leave! My friend, get up from that place! Get up! What? what? No, no, no. See, see! Go and tell that to your Juju Kalaba that what he did for you did not work. Get up. My friend, get up from that place! You think I'm playing with you? Herrera. You think I'm joking? Herrera! 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 Herr